And Gavin, thanks for uh, getting up. I know you guys got in early this morning to San Francisco. Thanks for taking the time to be with us. You're playing some good baseball right now. What's been the biggest difference over the last nine days? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I think just being comfortable. Uh, I feel like the more games I play and, and the more at-bats I get, always the kind of more comfortable I feel and, and the more adjustments I'm able to make in the batter's box. So um, I think I'm just kind of learning myself and, and – um, the more at-bats and seeing more pitches always helps. You would mentioned learning yourself and making those key adjustments. I know last season was a strange year for all of us, but you spent a lot of time at the alternate site working on that swing. Dave Roberts said that the swing was a little bit inconsistent. Seems like you figured it out. What's been the biggest difference for you at the plate? Yeah, I, I think just having um, a little less going on um, last year, I kind of had a lot of extra movement in my lower body and upper body and hands. So this year I've just tried to like kind of tone everything down and then simplify everything a little bit. And um, I think that's kind of helped me make those pitch to pitch adjustments. And I feel like I know where my body's at kind of all the time now and on certain takes uh, on pitches, I can feel where I'm at. And um, I think that's been a huge difference maker and, and just overall consistency um, guys with slide steps. I don't feel so susceptible to, to guys like that now. And, um, overall, I just feel like my timing's easier. Yeah, you are certainly simplifying it and quieting all of the noise that seems that everybody has a comment and, and a, an opinion about what you should be doing. How nice did it feel to be able to get that uh, that first Grand Slam? Yeah, that was, that was a pretty cool feeling. I, I don't even think I've ever hit one in the minor leagues. Honestly, I have to look, but I don't remember ever even hitting one in the minor leagues, so... Uh, or even really in high school. So I think that might be my first one since like elementary school. I, I don't know. I can't ever <laughs> really remember hitting hitting a grand slam. So so to do it um, with the Dodgers obviously is is uh, is a really cool moment for me. And um, all my buddies were super pumped up, and family members were all pumped up. So it was a lot of fun. You guys are going to give yourselves concussions with the pounding on the head. So tell me, how did this whole thing started with uh, Duncan on him? Um, that's a good question. I think like one day I was just, uh, sitting talking with Mookie and I was like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta come up with something creative this year. Last year it was like the barrels were overrated and we shake our hands. But, um, this year it was like when we score a run or we hit a home run RBI double, triple to, to bring somebody in and like, we gotta do the head tap, like the basketball guys do when they, uh, when they dunk on somebody. So it's basically like us saying we dunked on you, but it's all fun and games, obviously. And, um, nothing too serious but uh it just kind of keeps us loose and you know that's how we have fun so that's how we play yeah you mentioned Mookie Betts an MVP you have another MVP on your team now too and Albert Pujols you guys now have four MVPs on that roster um what has it been like to have conversations with the machine and just the knowledge that you can gain from that guy in the dugout yeah, I mean, I grew up idolizing um, AP, and then obviously, you know, you look up at the scoreboard and you look at his career stats, uh, it's incredible, and obviously the human being he is um, makes it even better, and uh, he's so approachable and, and open to, to talking to guys about, you know, certain pitchers and, and his game plan in the box and um, what guys are trying to do to him. So uh, just, I think I, he came up to me and just, we were just sitting talking on the rail, um, after one of my at-bats and I was like, wow, this is AP. You know, I grew up idolizing this guy and then now I get to throw to first in, I get to watch him hit in the cage and uh, it's, I definitely feel lucky. Yeah, it's nice to have that amount of knowledge right there in the dugout for you. And, you know, you guys are starting to play the way that I think most people thought you were capable of doing. And you're getting a couple of key pieces back as well, both Cody Bellinger and Zach McKinstry starting their rehab um, assignments and hopefully joining the squad soon. What's it going to be like when, when you guys get those, um, those two back and just kind of be at more, you know, full power there? Yeah, totally. I mean, Z-Mac and Belly are huge parts of, of, of our team. And, um, obviously, Zemac kind of plays everywhere, and, and he's been raking, and Belly's an MVP candidate every year. He's a freak. Um, so just getting those two guys back, and, and um, you know, I think, you know, they're two key players. So whenever those guys uh, go down, it, it hurts, obviously, but to get them back is huge. And um, I think it'll help us as well just from the energy standpoint, and, and Belly and Zemac bring that. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun getting both them back. 
Yeah, certainly uh, need those guys back. Corey Seager now on the IL as well. So 13 key guys on that IL for this Los Angeles Dodgers team. Yet you guys are still right there in the thick of it in the National League West. A huge series opening up tonight against the San Francisco Giants, the team with the best record in all of baseball. How do you approach this three-game set? Yeah, games against the Giants are always fun, and, and it always feels a little different, and I think everybody can attest to that. So, um, But we're just going to go out play the same game you know um we've been playing really good baseball the last 10 games or so i think we're eight and one nine and one in our last 10 so uh just kind of roll uh ride the wave and then uh, keep the momentum going and we've been playing really good pitching hitting defense everything's been really good so uh just keep that same mindset and go out and then uh, compete you know that's really it I think we got yeah, Woody tonight to our old friend. Their last, yeah, you do. You have Woody tonight, yep. who's absolutely <laughs> pitching out of his mind. A 5-0 and record so far. But Trevor Bauer going up against him. What's it been like to, to play defense behind that guy and also just uh, get to know him a little bit better? Yeah, I feel like I don't even play defense behind Trevor. He just punches everybody <laughs> out. So <laughs> um, it makes my job a lot easier on defense. But, uh, God, just watching him prepare and, and compete um, – he brings uh, a level of, of that competitiveness that I don't think I've seen out of a lot of guys. So it's uh, it's pretty cool to see. And, and I think it helps us from that standpoint as well. Um, you know, every time he, he takes the mound, you see what he's going to do. And I think a lot of us kind of feel off that. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun to watch him go out there and compete um, every five days. Yeah, he leads the National League in strikeouts with 77. So your point is well taken. You don't have to play a lot of defense behind him. By the way, Gavin, you have hit a, a grand slam before back in 2018 in the minor leagues. Obviously, that one not as memorable as the one that you just had against the Diamondbacks. If you could tell your uh, your former self, uh, the kid coming up, growing up in, in Wisconsin, about how to be a big league player, perhaps maybe something you would have told your younger self now that you've been in the league for three years, what would it be? Definitely be yourself every day. Um, every time you get to the ballpark, uh, just be yourself and, and have fun and, and don't worry about the results. That's that was literally that was that would be exactly what I would tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe play a little bit less video games or maybe that's just like the mom and me talking. No, no. Yeah, that, I think that's the mom and you talking. I'm going to I'm going to keep grinding on Call of Duty every night. <laughs> All right, you away. and Belly, Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, appreciate the time. You guys are playing really well. Best of luck the rest of the way, and uh, enjoy the series against the Giants this weekend at Oracle Park. Take care.